بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على رسول الله وعليه وصحبه وسلم أجمعين اللهم انفعني بما علمتني وعلمني بما ينفعني وزدني علما إنك أنت العليم الحكيم My topic today is about diffuse skull thickening what is mean by diffuse skull thickening there is diffuse deep the work space expansion and thickening of the skull vault and most common causes of this it is a normal variant the common causes of diffuse skull wall thickening as i said hyperostosis frontalis interna and normal diffuse skull wall thickening and this is a normal variant phenytoin use this drug is used for epilepsy and cause calvarial wall thickening shunting hydrocephalus metastasis especially the diffuse sclerotic one and budget disease the less common cause microcephaly, fibrous dysplasia, hyperparathyroidism, acromegaly, chronic subdural hematoma with calcification, chronic anemias like sickle cell anemia, thalassemia, iron deficiency anemia, and extramedullary hematobiosis, and sclerosing dysplasia like osteoporosis, pycnodystosis, medulloblastosis, and fluorosis. And we see some examples of these causes. This is the normal diffuse skull thickening. As you see here, there is thickening and the expansion of the uh, work space. And this is normal variant. Hyperostosis of frontalis interna, this is another normal variant, usually bilateral and symmetrical. It's usually involve the frontal region, but can be extend to the parietal and occipital region. And it is usually end at the coronal suture. And it is spare the superior sagittal sinus area and cortical venous channels. And it is common in females, especially after 35 years of age, and where there is no clinical significance with no non etiology cause. As we see here, this is lateral skull x ray, there is diffuse thickening of the frontal region with hypostosis, and it is limited by coronal suture as we see in the, in the axial cut of CT scan, there is a thickening of the bifrontal region and usually symmetrical. Here is another patient with sagittal reformat in the frontal region, limited by coronal suture, and it, here in the axial cut, it is involving the bifrontal region and not extend to beyond the coronal suture. Here, this is the patient with the phenytoin uh, uh, use, chronic use of this drug cause uh, diffuse thickening of the skull vault. This is another patient with, uh, with shunting and there is diffuse in the skull wall with expanding of the diploric spaces. Here, this is a patient with budget disease with the diffuse skull wall thickening. And you see here the uh, sclerotic, sclerotic appearance of diffuse skull thickening with widening of the diploric spaces and also the 
cotton wool appearance seen in the diffuse skull wall thickening. This is a classic budget disease. Another cause it is microcephaly. This is patient with microcephaly with diffuse skull wall thickening, and another patient here with diffuse metastasis, sclerotic metastasis, metastasis causing uh, diffuse skull wall thickening. Here, this patient with fibrous dysplasia, you see diffuse wall thickening. It is involved, can involve any part of the skull can be monostatic can be polystatic in monostatic it is 70 to 80 percent and polystatic in 20 to 30 percent can be involved the mandible or maxilla and it is called uh, cherubism or involve the craniofacial bones and cause medullary expansion and the uc grand glass appearance in this diffuse thickening of the skull vault. Here, this patient with chronic anemia, thalassemia, and you see this is the lateral skull x ray, and you see the hair on and appearance on this lateral skull x ray, and there is diffuse wall thickening of the uh, the spaces, and we see here there is diffuse the work space is thickening with hair in and appearance due to bone marrow hyperplasia. This patient also with sickle cell anemia, we have the uh, work space is thickening and widening also involve the base of the skull. Here, this patient with the acromegaly, enlargement of the cell with macroadenoma, and we see the diffuse skull wall thickening in this patient. Here, this patient with diffuse skull wall thickening with osteopetrosis. Another patient with osteopetrosis, you see diffuse skull wall thickening and uh, diffuse sclerosis of the cervical spine and base of the skull and the uh, facial bone in another patient. Here you see patient with uh, hyperparathyroidism and you see diffuse skull wall thickening with salt and pebble appearance sign. This is also axial cut CT scan at the level of the vertex with salt and bebop sign of hyperparathyroidism. Thank you for listening. Hoping this will help you in daily practice and see you soon.